We managed to get such a powerful amplifier for car. But we have a problem, we don't have a speaker. And what will happen if the audio frequency from this amplifier is applied to ordinary household appliances? Will there be music? What will be the sound? Now we will check it. Let's go. I don't know what track it is. Look at this. What's happening? Do you see what's going on? Turn it off. We will power our amplifier from such a motorcycle battery. This amplifier has two channels of 200 watts, we connected it with a bridge, so it should be 400 watts. It's hard to believe, but we'll check it now. At the input, we connected the phone through a sound card, and at the output, we connect a mixer. Just connected to the plug. Turn it on. Nothing. Need to turn it on. Yes. I can feel the vibration. Make it louder. Maximum. I hear such a strange gurgling sound. Just listen. I have an idea, let's amplify it with a transformer. In theory, it should exactly increase the voltage by 10 times. Let's go. You see? Here you can hear it better. Air is blowing. Do you hear it? Turn on the generator. We will try to set our own frequency. 50 Hertz. This is the frequency at which it operates. Turn on the ultrasound. Turn up the frequency. More. 150 Hertz. It's stinking. This mode is the loudest. We have this huge 20 watt lamp. Already working? See how it strobes. Very quiet high frequencies. It works. Maybe the sound from the transformer. Yes? Yes, you are right. It turned out that this sound comes from the transformer. If you apply an audio frequency to a 220 volt LED lamp, you get a disco. It strobes like crazy. Look, are the capacitors going to explode? I have strobes in my eyes now. The motor has powerful neodymium magnets and a low resistance winding. In theory, the sound should be powerful. The same thing should happen as from the vibro speaker. Let's feed into such a small thing, all 400 watts. Although it says here that it is rated up to 1000 watts. How can such a small motor handle it? We connect the transformer in the opposite direction so that it lowers the voltage. Let's go. Here's something. Yes. Do you hear? I feel a pleasant vibration from this motor. Add some bass. This is what happens to him because of the sound. It spins to the beat of sound vibrations. Vibration as if electric shock beats. But there is one secret, it works like a vibrodynamic, if you lean it against something, it gives off vibration. Very scary sound. It's just a table. This is a metal rail. This is good for listening to metal music. What is this music? But there is one secret. This box can be used as an acoustic vibrator. Lean the motor against the box. Make it a little quieter, the sound is overloaded. I figured out how to get rid of wheezing. Just pinch and block rotation. Now we will have a match on copyright. Do you hear a quality sound? I think this is rattling. This monocoque rattles. It screams very loudly. Very bassy, like on a speaker.
The base is very powerful, difficult to hold in hand. You hear? Farting bass. Turn on something bass. Holly molly. Not so hard. I don't know what this track is, but the vibration is crazy. What's going on? Can't hold in my hands. That's crazy. Look. See this vibration? It just goes crazy. This is a vibration motor for noisy neighbors. This is what you need. It fell apart. The mount is broken. It fell apart. It's so quiet now. Turn off. Or it will burn. Hot? Yes, very hot. Well, it's better not to supply one kilowatt to such a small motor. Let's try a bigger motor. If you remember, this is a turbine from our power plant. It has a permanent magnet motor. The transformer now lowers the voltage, but increases the current, because these motors consume a lot. It makes such a strange sound. Is this the max? Well, it's much quieter than a brushless motor. But the sound is not bad. Damn! Better not to put your fingers in the blades. Let's try to resonate it. Just lean against the blades. Two such motors and you get headphones. We made headphones? And how is the sound quality? Wow! So it is with a vibrator. The vibration comes from the bass. Powerful. <laughs> this guitar sounds. Holly Molly, such powerful bass. Guys, guess what kind of track we included on this motor. See what happens to him. Another track. What's going on? It is almost impossible to hold it in your hands. You see? Well, turn on the fan. Such a strange sound. Show it closer. It just buzzes, but can you hear the music? Something gurgles inside. Is it 50 hertz? Rectangular? It's a sign. Now it's rectangular. Strange sound. Turn up the treble. Just like a siren. And low frequencies? <laughs> it's 320 hertz. I don't even know. Turn on some music. It's like a normal speaker. Record the sound closer. Very strange sound. Who would have thought that a fan could sing like that? Now we will simultaneously try to turn on the sign. Do you hear? It works. Scary sound. From the sign it just spins. It's some kind of ancient sound. What? It's a mix. Holly Molly. Fan gone crazy. It screams loudly. And there's some sound here too. After 600 hertz we can't hear anything anymore. 
Let's measure how many volts. 150 watts of sound goes to it. Now you will see the maximum. 150. Even 170 hertz shouted. We need karaoke. <laughs> there is. It works. <laughs> it does not reproduce below 160 hertz. You can imagine it works. The fan can be used as a microphone. This sound is coming from the fan. <laughs> Did you get it? You need to give out 50 hertz at which the fan from the network works. <laughs> now we'll be blown away. This is the weirdest way to spin a fan that we can think of. Let's now listen to the voice of the vacuum cleaner. I think it will be the most bass sound. And what do you think? We will turn on exactly 50 hertz, the same as in the outlet. Stop. Turn on the music. Something has started to happen. I wonder how it will sound. It's bass. Why does it go so weird? I think there is a filter in there. Maybe a diode bridge? That's why it works like this. But it spins to the beat of the music. What's the music now? Is that how it meows? Doesn't look like. Turn on another song. For some reason the sound wheezes. Who does not believe you can see on the phone that the music is on? It does not sound, but nevertheless it can work with an audio frequency of 50 Hz. Now you will hear how the iron sounds in reality. It works! Such a dumb sound. It also heats up. Warms my ear. The sound is very weird. Explain to me the audience what can sound in an iron. There are no magnets or windings. In theory, it should not vibrate under the influence of electricity. However, from these holes, where the steam should come out, sound comes out. It takes a lot of energy. The amplifier heats up. Very hot. Everything heats up like an iron. Very powerful. Few people thought of such a thing to start a sound on the motor of an e-bike. According to our calculations, it should sound so powerful that it should even jump. Here is our electric bike, connecting between its two phases to its electric motor. The signal from our amplifier. It's stirred. It works. Holly molly. Powerful sound. Very powerful. Maybe change the transformer? What is it that rattles so much? Spokes. We need another amplifier. More powerful. We specially brought a digital very powerful amplifier for 800 watts. And now we will apply all this power to the electric bike. Damn! You see it? Friends, do you see what is happening? The table is shaking. Turn it off. Stop. I turned off. Turn off the power. What was it? <laughs> Burnt out? This is how experiments should end. Okay friends, we had fun. Why didn't the fuse blow? Or did it work? Well, our amplifier burned out. This concludes our experiments. As we saw, the bike rider started to go crazy. But something didn't go according to plan. See you soon. To be continued, after we fix the amplifier.